nothing gets done without coffee in the morning. Guys, today, not even seven o'clock. It's kind of rolling anchorage. So uh, Sandy's got the coffee going. Mmm, look at that. You didn't sleep well last night, dear? Um, not a hundred percent, no. I no, Roly, Roly means the boat's rocking side to side all night long, just the motion because of the wind and the current, the way the boat's positioned. Anyways. Uh, and that cover was creaking. The cover was, uh, there was a cover over the engine that was sort of unlatched and it was creaking all night. I slept through it, but yes, when she did. told me uh, this morning, she goes, oh, that creaking. I said, well, I said, what creaking? And uh, she said that engine cover. Walked over to it, flicked the latch on and Creaking stopped. Yay! He's my hero! Finally, finally. The beautiful Sandy's down below getting me a coffee, making me a coffee, and uh, she's gonna bring it up to me while I get this vessel into the right direction. So, we don't do much of anything without coffee coffee first. Yeah. In fact, Sandy likes her coffee, but I, I mean, like, I'm really not doing anything until I get more coffee. Oh, yeah. We picked up a gust here. It must, you know, I don't know if you felt that, but I feel it. And we are over six knots now. I'm going to steer off get a little bit so Sandy doesn't come up freaking. There we go. Wait, wait, wait. There she comes now. The fun police. The beautiful Sandy. Boy, you look lovely this morning, hon. In your preppy clothes. Love your hair.
Flamingo Key Cave. So yeah, there's the low tide, right? Guys, check this out. I don't know if you can see all these little pink things, but this is called a lens. We're, we're back here in a bush. You gotta come by path. We're in the Cementos at, uh, what, what island are we on? Flamingo. Flamingo Key. Okay, so do you see all these little pink things? They're shrimps. They're shrimps. So there's a layer of fresh water here and then there's a layer of salt water. It's separated somehow. You'd have to check this out. It's called the lens. It takes thousands of years. Yeah, it take, it's a very fragile ecosystem. And we're not going to disturb it. But uh, all these little pink things are shrimp. Little baby shrimps. Maybe we'll find bigger ones. Isn't that interesting? Okay. Let's go over to the big one. Look at the hole. Oh, monkey here. Now, I, I can't see the lair. Oh, but that looks terrifying. Look at all the little shrimps here. I'd like to be able, I don't know why they call it a lens, but it would be. Uh, cool to have researched it before I came but now I'm going to research it when I get back well when I get internet there is no internet here hey guys um, listen we're down here in the ragged islands and we have internet it's kind of crazy because all the way to here we didn't have internet but um, at the end here I think there's a military base so they put up a tower and uh, we have internet right now which is pretty cool. But I think to be out here this remote, I think the next step is to get Starlink. Most people down here have Starlink and it's probably a great option for us. Yeah, they all seem pretty, pretty happy with it. Yeah, our, sure. you know what, because you're always connected. And you know, now just imagine guys today in 2023, not having internet for a week. I mean, it, it's pretty cool, I think, to be able to do that, but I don't know if a lot of people can do that or are willing to to not do that. <laughs> he struggles with it. Actually, I can read and I'm fine. Actually, I, you know what, I don't read, I just go to sleep. So I'm fine too. She's, she was the one, you know, that wanted to talk to the grandkids and whatnot. So, but I can certainly do without uh, internet for a week. I thought that was pretty challenging and, and I think we did pretty good without it. But um, I don't think it's necessary that we don't have it. So I think, uh, I think I'm going to look into that Starlink stuff and uh, next time. Something for the future. Yeah. And, and even for at home, I don't know, it could work out. I, uh, I'll have to check it out. But it's called Starlink RV and you know, you can take it anywhere you travel, I guess. You gotta buy the equipment though. So there's an upfront cost yeah. and, uh, and then there's a monthly cost, but you can turn it off. You can turn this, you can turn the service off anytime you want and then turn it back on when you want as well. So 
that, that might work out. That seems to be what most of the people are doing. So listen, guys, uh, thanks for following along. It's been great. Uh, I've noticed, uh, like I've had some great uh, messages from people, personal messages, and uh, and uh, that people enjoy looking at this lifestyle. And hopefully, uh, some of you will, uh, you know, step forward and uh, buy a boat and uh, meet us down here. That would be really cool. But anyways, thanks for following. You guys have a, a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.